Hello there, my beautiful Leos, and welcome to your weekly tarot reading with me, Miss Machiste. Leo, we are looking into this week of October 25th to the 31st. Please keep in mind that time is fluid and do not forget to check your other chart placements on my channel. We are getting you a number or color for this week to see what energy spirit is highlighting for you. So Leo, we have here card triple three, Trinity, mind, body, and soul. You are in the zone. Express your true, authentic self. All right, Leo with the triple threes. Some of you may have been born on the third. It doesn't have to be. It's just the energy. But when I see the number three for me, that is an indication that you are totally in alignment and things that you focus on, things that you express towards will absolutely come into fruition at an energy of hyperspeed. So you are definitely in the zone of creating and feeling like you can take on anything, a very large sense of confidence. So let's see what unicorn is with you for my beautiful Leos. Ooh, we have card number 18, magic. There is magic around you, so expect excitement and joy. And that's what I feel like the triple three is about, finding the magic within you. Feeling like I'm in the zone right now of full-on creative hyperspeed magic. Card number 18, some of you could have been born on the 18th. So pretty interesting week here for you, Leo. So let's see what this is all about in terms of the tarot. There is some magic that Spirit has for you this week. Something may feel almost like a miracle to you, but it's just because you are in the zone and in alignment with your highest authentic self. You are in the zone with your higher self, and when you sit in that position energetically, like I said, things happen for you at hyperspeed. So let's see here for Leo. For this week, for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Here we go, Leo. We have the Page of Cups. We have the Lovers. And we have the Three of Wands. All right, Leo. So it does look like there is some sort of apology coming in from somebody who feels connected to you. Um, it could be a friend, could be a lover, could be a family member, could really be anybody. Um, for some of you, this may be about romantic love with the lovers here, but it doesn't necessarily have to be romance. With the Page of Cups here, there definitely could be an indication that a friend of yours is apologizing for something. A friend of yours may be apologizing to you and wanting to be on a better level with you in terms of this connection and where they stand with you. I feel like for a lot of you Leos, you you just don't want to have drama. So I feel like you may let this go and say, all right, forgive and a somewhat forget or just forgive and forget. Some of you, you're just going to forgive and forget this person. Doesn't mean that you actually give them a chance to be in your life, but it does look like there is an apology coming in for, for you. Some of you, if this is about romantic love, I definitely do feel like this person wants to reconnect with you at the heart. This person is definitely interested in apologizing to you and seeing how you feel about it, seeing if you'll accept it, seeing if you'll reunite with them. It may not have been an extreme sense of separation for some of you, yes. For others of you, you have been in this person's energy, um, yet they have done you wrong to a certain extent and they feel the need to apologize. Some of you as well, this definitely could be new love coming in. It may start a little bit off as friends and then move towards more romance. Could even be a new friend coming in. Because I do feel an energy of friendship. So let's clarify this here for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. On the Page of Cups, we have the Eight of Swords. On the Lovers, we have the Ten of Wands. And on the Three of Wands, we have the Four of Swords. Okay, so I do feel like for some of you Leos, this person may be somebody who stresses you out or has stressed you out um, pretty, pretty, pretty deeply. 
I do feel like some of you feel like this person's a burden to you. Some of you, they, you may feel like they're a burden to you because they keep doing things that they have to apologize for. So you may feel in position of like, how many times do I have to forgive you? When are you going to shift? When are you going to change? I feel like for some of you Leos, you're going to forgive and forget them. I do get an energy of forgive and forget. Some of you, you may release what they put you through with that Ten of Wands to so just heal with them. For others of you, I see you forgetting them in general. Um, if you are still connected to this person in a, some sort of relationship, commitment, or whatever the case may be, I feel like you feel like this person's apologies are like empty. Like the cup is there, but there isn't much in it. So I feel like you're kind of in a position of like, all right, you have an apology for me. I'm not really wanting to stress it out too much. I'm just going to see what you do. And if you show me with actions, then great. But I'm, I'm not listening to your empty promises any longer. And for others of you, this is just a new lover or a new friend coming in. But I feel like either you look at love or new friends as like something that like, you know, when people sit in that position, they're like, oh, I got to start all over again. I got to get to know this person all over again. I got to build a friendship with you. It's kind of like you almost feel stressed out by that where you kind of rather just do nothing. Let's clarify this spirit for Leo. Eight of Swords, Seven of Cups. Yeah, there's a sense of confusion around this person because you either have history with them or you may just be uncertain about really what you want to do. Queen of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, you're definitely being patient. You're definitely trusting in the process of things. I don't think you're jumping for joy like, yeah, an apology. I feel like you are in a position of like, I'll believe it when I see it. Apologies to me. Yeah, they're words, but to me, they don't really mean as much anymore. You need to show it. You need to prove it. You need to be in that sense of stability. So for some of you, this is definitely a new person and you're just not being too impulsive. You're not being too naive. You're sitting in a very detached, independent position and you're not going to let love take you down or you're not going to let... Um, possibly new friends in that easily some of you leos may be like no new friends i've been burned and bruised by friendships in the past and i'm just not in a position of letting anyone new in or letting in this apologetic friend possibly and if you have been interconnected with this person and yet not have been super separated the apologies coming in the follow-through will come but you're not being impulsive with it maybe before you were like oh you're sorry thank you for apologizing i can't wait to move forward and then you just had another cycle of crap so i feel like for a lot of you leos you're just like i'll believe it when i see it i'm not giving anybody much of me until i see a follow-through a real follow through. I don't want words. I want actions. So that's what you're sitting in here, Leo. You're more in a position of wanting to see actions opposed of words. And I feel like for some of you, you may just be like, look, I appreciate your apology and or reach out. But I may be better off healing from this instead of giving it a chance. Nonetheless, here, Leo, you do have a choice on what you want to do. I feel like the more cold and detached you are, I kind of get a sense it's drawing this person in more and more and more. And that may be where they come in with the energy of, I'm going to prove it to Leo because Leo isn't accepting me in as easily that I thought they were going to. So I feel like this is either a friend or a lover. Now we are going to get your specific love energies here for you, Leo. The only major arcana I have is Gemini with the lovers. So Spirit for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We have here Offer, mm -hmm, right on that page of cups. We also have Numbing, mm -hmm, I'm telling you, you're like 
Feelings off. And we have soulmate. So if this is a new person, somebody definitely turns you cold to the point where you're kind of just like, meh, okay. If this is your current person, they definitely emotionally turned you off somehow. And if this is a friend, whomever, a past person. Oh, we're on romantic love. If this is a past person, I don't know. I just feel like they mess with your heartstrings too heavily. Let's clarify this spirit for Leo. We have offer with barrier. Yeah, you definitely putting a wall between you and this person. Numbing with contemplation. You're thinking about it. What do I do? How do I act? What actions do I take? What attitude do I sit in and soulmate with healing? So despite whatever's happening here, you will find a sense of healing with this person, whether you heal and move forward with them. Great. If you heal and move forward without them, great. It doesn't really matter what you decide to do. You're receiving a sense of healing. So let's clarify this one more time for Leo. Barrier with reinvention, contemplation with observer, and healing with cycles. Yeah, so you are curious to an extent about what this person will do. We all have that energy of curiosity. But you are not putting down the wall, barrier, until you see they are reinvented. You Like this whole reading's been saying, you're not taking this offer until you feel like they have changed or until you see that they're different so pretty synchronistic with the reading that's what i got here for you leo thank you for being here thank you for watching and have a wonderful week bye now